It was more than a budget hearing for the Baltimore City State's Attorney's Office at City Council Monday. State's Attorney Marilyn Mosby addressed a letter from Councilman Eric Costello questioning whether the office is significantly understaffed. In your letter, um, Mr. Chair, you asked for clarity surrounding rumors and intentionally peddled misinformation reported by the media alleging that my prosecutorial units are understaffed by more than 50%. Mosby says in reality, they have 144 filled attorney positions and 48 total vacancies. She admits they usually have 193 attorneys as high as 217 at times. She says they have a problem retaining lawyers and being competitive with salaries from surrounding jurisdictions. But she says their request to the city for funding to increase salaries has been repeatedly denied. We went and asked to use our surplus. We went and asked to increase the budget. We've, we've done every, all of our due diligence to try to be competitive, and we're at a point right now where um, we are at a loss as to how we can compete. Mosby says they've added a flexible work from home option to try and compete, but she stresses the staffing has not affected their conviction rate. She says it's 90% for violent crime. And there were other things council members wanted to clear up. I've heard of rumors um, of ASAs not showing up for um, cases or for bail reviews. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what's going on there? So what I can tell you is quite candidly, we're six weeks from my election. Okay, so a lot of the misinformation that is being intentionally peddled through the media is just wrong <laughs> and it's intentional.